What's up everybody, MechRex here, and I'm back in Vega, and after yesterday I got to some thinking, there's one way they can fix their new super shield due to the repair time, without even having to change the repair time or change, they only have to do one thing for it. Just one. <laughs> it's one of the simplest things that anyone would think of. I'm not going to say what it is right away, instead I'm going to show you what it should be. <laughs> this was just so stupidly simple. Okay, so it's got BS repair time and it doesn't recharge and it resists four types of damage. Okay, well that's effectively useless though because it doesn't resist the plasma damage that it will be soaking up. And if I'm not mistaken, the plasma damage also has um, heavy shield bypass at least 25% because metaphase shield threes by two on a punisher are usually gone in the second volley except for the first volley if you don't have any armor on ships it strips away their health at an alarming rate so this shield is effectively useless against them you're gonna get massive repair time but only because your ship is taking damage not because the shield the shield doesn't count as repair time the ship's actual health counts this is just added to the repair time of the ship and in a percentage so as it slowly works out um, you take a 1,000 hit point ship, for example, with a 3,000 hit point shield, such as this, and if the ship only takes 1% of damage, which is literally just getting a scratch, it's going to have quite a pretty penny of repair time on it, and it's because of the shield. And the fact the shield doesn't recharge means that if it gets destroyed in a fight, which isn't impossible because they have such overpowered ships in the game it's not funny but they need they should just do one simple change to it make it a recharging shield just by adding in the 10% recharge rate same as everything else when it's been out of the fight for what is it five seconds and they start to recharge over the course of 10 seconds But that would greatly improve it, and it would negate the freaking repair time. Well, it wouldn't negate it. It would just make it a little bit more useful against Ancient Reapers if you play the fleet just right. If you fail to play the fleet, well, you all know where that's going to go. And now on to the actual and the decimation. So far, I've been farming up only high-level targets, because every time I've gone out so far, I've only been able to hit high-level targets, because all the low-level targets are being taken by the few high-levels that are playing. Yeah, the little 40 and 50 targets, they're mostly gone. The only thing that was left in the alien sector was level 60s. There was only a few of them. They were even gone. They took everything. They weren't touching the ancient bases at all. So, yeah. That was... And the spawn rate of the base is just way too freaking low. So the spawn rate should be increased to, ne to negate the mass farming that certain groups do. Well, certain people, not groups anymore. Groups of people are no longer existent in the game. But by the end of today, I should have the first... The Pulse Cannon and the Shield. And tomorrow and the day after, I should be able to work on getting the Guardian Cruiser. And then the last day of the event, what? Yeah, the last day of the event, I should be able to focus on getting the Harmonic Agility Field Generator. Which... I hear tell has a nine day refit time. Yeah. It took me less time to build the actual carrier along with the fighters it's had. Even refit, it's only taken me eight and a half days. Slowly refitting it over the course of the time, every time there is one of the things active or anything like that. Eight and a half days for this. Yeah, I ain't gonna fit a shield, a, a generator to it unless I go after one of the phase shifters. Cause I would just go for shield bypass, I would ignore it. And this one I see no point in. But that aside, so far the event has been going smoothly. We got three days left, and I've hardly har harvested anything, because the first day I was out, I 
Hit a little 75 Ancient Reaper by accident. It, I, I didn't really attack it. It attacked me while I was going after a 70. I warped my fleet out, went after it, and got hit by it. Sent the fleet back, but while I was in combat with the Ancient Reaper, I was fighting the other one. This is repair time from today, not yesterday. I hit a level 70 today. And I... The amount of parts... you th This is hilarious. You need so many parts to build the carrier. In the course of about 10 boxes, I'd be able to get a pattern for just about anything. 10 boxes all it takes for me. You know, I've got luck on my side. Apparently, everyone else doesn't. Because they changed it, though, it's still going to take the 10 hits to get it, though. And it's guaranteed at that point for everyone else. And it's guaranteed for everything. Cause I'm... I've only opened one box and it gave me 10% of everything that I needed, except for this, the Axis Armaments gave me more. That doesn't really matter much to me. And, uh, something I was curious about, yesterday while I was online, we can't start, I, did, I couldn't start researching the Guardian Cruiser. I don't know how long it's been up for, because honestly I started this one a few days ago and I actually checked yesterday. I didn't scroll all the way to the bottom, I scrolled to about here and then stopped. Because uh, I'm still researching these guys. But I'm just killing time researching the older stuff with the smaller amounts of resource ne resources needed. But I took a look at the cruiser and eh, it could be better. Plasma resistance, 40%. Harmonic shield, 3 Hold up. Does it have that by default? Each of these add plus one though as well. So in total you'd be able to have plus six to your harmonic shield via the ships. That's interesting. Oh yeah, something else I noticed. There's no reason to ever go above the level 1 for the exophase shield. If anyone thinks that they need to, just forget about it. Their repair time isn't worth it on the higher level ones for anyone, and the fact that, take a look here, harmonic shield plus 1 doesn't go up at all. You'd expect it to go up with level 2, especially with that repair time. That would be another way. They don't even have to make it a recharging shield. They could increase the harmonic shield balance to make it worth it. But we all know that's not going to happen, so just stick with the level 1. By 3, because it'll be, what, it's 3 days for a full 6 ship uh, fleet of them. But if you stick with the level 1 and level 2 weaponry, it's, um... What is it? A day and a half? For all six, plus all of the weapons and army you could fully fit on them? It's still a stupidly long repair time, but regardless. And I still have two more ships to make in this little group. And then I'll start mark upgrading them and refitting them to be fully fitted out, and then I'll test them. But until then, I can't do anything with them. But the fitting is the same on every single one of them. With the exception of the weapons, because the unmarked upgraded ones don't have the additional mass. And something I forgot, the good benefit of mark upgrading the older ships over the new ones... That health benefit that doesn't actually increase your repair time. The armor has a set amount of repair time, and the increase doesn't up increase it. So you can get that bonus health without taking bonus repair time. And I actually think if I were to go down to the shop, open up blueprints, which one are you? One of the first ships you'll be able to get for the cruiser line, the Apothecary Cruiser, will be upgraded to Mark V, which is what, 35%, uh, 35 or 30? Let's take a look here real quick. What percentage of a bonus of health is it? They can go up to Mark IV, okay. 
Mark four for these guys. You can get a bonus of 15%, so it'd be 20% at Mark five, 20 and minus 20% at armor mass. So you'd get an additional 20% of your health increase on the ship, or it wouldn't count as actual repair time towards the ship. At least I don't think it would. Let me check here real quick. The easiest way I find that was just on the hull itself. Nope, going up mark upgrades. As it increases the armor of the health, it wouldn't upgrade, it wouldn't increase the repair time. So that's something good. So mark upgrade the tier 3 and tier 4 ships so you can skip up to tier 6. Or 6.5 six in this case. And let's see. Plenty strike, everyone I already went over it. Everyone already knows what they need to get. All you need is level three, level three, you're good there. If you want to get the impulse beam turret, you can. It's useful. You already know what you need to get for the ships. Resources, I actually thought about this and earlier while I was farming, I was taking more damage. When I first started, I had no resources to repair my fleet and I lost this fleet except for I got hundred thousand so I actually paid for one of the resource packets down here for resources just to repair my fleet and it occurred to me that they're just for repairing fleets <laughs> but other than that the event has been extremely quiet not much has been going on but like I said the change to the harmonic exophase shield it should be rechargeable because that would kind of negate the BS repair time yeah and as it increases in level you should get more harmonic shield benefits for just the level especially for that repair time I mean the repair time is garbage and all of the freaking harmonic shield benefits is just low I mean you should be able to crank the bonuses the fleet gives out way out the window cuz I mean garbage 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 Level 1 is the only one that I actually see anyone using. Granted, you'll have less shield potential from certain fleets, and you'll have a lot more repair time, but you'll have the alien resistance as well. And something else that I noticed, most, if not all, of the aliens do the shield bypass where you take damage, you can't stop, blah, 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 blah. You can reduce it as much as you possibly can. Oh, something else I forgot to check on the Guardian Cruiser. Can't even check it there. Wait, could we check? Let me see here. No, we can't. Where are you at in here? Something just popped into my head. Yeah, we can't even check to see how many shield resistors it has. At level 1. I don't even know how many the Guardian Cruiser has. I hope it has two, like the Punisher, because it would make sense, because it's supposed to be the better version of the Punisher. So you'd expect it to be better. So, two at level 1. Be able to get a third one later on, or one at level 1, and a second one at level 2. I don't think I don't even think I can check from here, can I? Research. Let me see here. Nope. Yeah, and fifty percent alien resistance at level one, that is just they are a step up, so You'd expect them to be like that. Okay, but I don't want to ramble on anymore. I've said what I need to about the exophase shield and a simple change that could actually make it better. As well as actually make so the harmonic bonuses stack with level. So level 2 would have plus 2, level 3 would have plus 3, instead of plus 1 for it all. Because, in all honesty, the shields are going to go down. You're going to take massive repair time from the Ancient Reaper fleets just because any of them do plasma damage. Anything that actually does plasma damage is going to be doing heavy damage to your ship and that's where your damage comes from. As your ship loses health and the percentage of its health goes down, you just take a stupidly absurd amount of repair time because of a shield. Online. 
But that's going to be it. If you have anything to add or a suggestion, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as always. It really helps, and I will see you all in the next one.